Hello students, welcome to Shore of Cells classes. So in this lecture, we will be continuing with the biochemistry metabolism. So in this lecture, we uh, will be studying total ATP formation, total ATP formation. So total ATP formation uh, from the metabolic reaction like glycolysis, TCA cycle, oxidative uh, phosphorylation, these are the metabolic reaction that are very much important for any living organism. So total ATP formation is uh, in what amount we have to know and what are the enzymes that are producing these ATPs. So we will be studying in this lecture. Total number of ATP, uh, total 32 ATPs are forming by metabolic reaction and the first one is so the first reaction that is carried out and produces and that number of ATP or reduced coenzyme directly from the form that is glucose is forming and from glucose conversion of glucose 6 phosphate 6 phosphate so for these the number of ATP is minus 1 because 1 ATP is consumed not formed. The second reaction that is the fructose 6-phosphate to conversion of fructose 1,6-bisphosphate 1,6-bisphosphate so that will form that will also consume another molecule of ATP so another minus 1. The third reaction is 2 glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate, 2 atom of glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate that is GAP gap to form 2 molecules of 2 molecules of 1 3 bisphosphate bisphosphoglycerate bisphosphoglycerate and that forms 2 NADH NADH so 2 NADH means 3 ATP now the fourth reaction is 2 molecules of 1 3 bisphosphoglycerate phospho phosphoglycerate and that will form uh, that will convert it to the uh, two molecules of 3 phosphoglycerate phosphoglycerate and from here uh, from this reaction we will get two molecules of ATP 2 ATP so this is 2 here we have minus 1 in the first reaction in the second reaction also we have minus 1 ATP and in the third reaction it's plus 3 ATP and in the fourth reaction plus 2 ATPs the fifth reaction is conversion of phosphoenol pyruvate to pyruvate Phosphoenol, phosphoenol, pyruvate to to pyruvate, and that will form two ATP again. So that will form two ATPs. Now, uh, after this uh, 2 pyruvate to 2 phosphoenol pyruvate to 2 pyruvate, we have formed 2 ATPs. The sixth reaction is from pyruvate, it will form 2 acetyl CoA. Pyruvate to 2 acetyl 
coe and this pyruvate 2 acetyl coe will form 2 nadh 2 nada means it will form 5 molecule of atps and here this will also either 3 or 5 let's go with 5 molecules of atp okay now the seventh reaction that is isocitrate to alpha ketoglutarate that is the tca cycle reaction isocitrate to alpha ketoglutarate that will form also two molecules of nadh and this will form five atps again it's five so the next one is from alpha ketoglutarate alpha ketoglutarate to two succinyl coe succinyl coe that will form two in adh will form five atps again the next reaction is from this succinyl coe from succinyl coe two succinate will form two succinate net and that will form two atps or two gtp so ultimately two atps or two gtps will form the next is to succinate to succinate to two fumarate so two molecules of fumarate will form two fadh two fadh and two fadh means three atps and the last reaction is from two molecules of malate formation of two oxalates oxaloacetate oxaloacetate that is 2 nadh 2 nadh that will form five molecules of atp so total uh, production of energy is first is minus 1 then minus 1 then 5 2 2 5 and the production of 5 ATPs are 3 and then again 2 ATPs 3 ATPs and 5 ATPs so total 30 to 32 ATPs will get formed and that will form 32 molecules of ATPs. Okay. So this is the energetics or energetics that you. So energetics 32 ATPs are used in these metabolic reactions. So here 32 ATPs are formed are obtained per glucose that are represent the conversion of the 32 into 30.5 kilojoule per mole. That is. 976 kilojoule per mole that is the total energetic used in these type of reactions now the next topic is shuttle system that is a very important topic and also that is very interesting so what is shuttle system in this system actually uh, NADH and NAD plus NADH and NAD plus these are uh, impermeable to mitochondrial my inner mitochondrial membrane IM okay they cannot uh, transfer they cannot uh, incorporate into the inter inner mitochondrial membrane so therefore any dh is generated in the cytoplasm 
and from cytoplasm cytoplasm or the cytosol so from cytosol uh, cytoplasm through glycolysis it's pass into the mitochondria mitochondria and this is for the oxidation for by the respiration respiratory chain for oxidation and this is the system that is a uh, malate aspartate shuttle is the system shuttle malate aspartate aspartate shuttle system is the transport mechanism so now this is working let me tell you first malate mallet is first inter uh, they are transported into the cell in, like this and then they transported into the inner membrane of the mitochondria and from here they form first oxaloacetate oxaloacetate and conversion of NAD plus to NADH uh, NADH plus H plus formed now from oxaloacetate to aspartate is the final product aspartate it's the final product and that is in the collaboration with the glutamate glutamate from glutamate to alpha ketoglutarate now this aspartate is again uh, transport to the outside of the membrane aspartate and then it's making oxaloacetate oxaloacetate and then again to the mallet so this is the transport system that is the shuttle mallet aspartic shuttle to form this NADH. Now the another type of uh, shuttle system is glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle. Glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle. Okay. So these type of shuttle, it is a uh, function in skeletal muscles mainly. Skeletal <coughs> muscles. In these, a pair of electrons from NADH from NADH are transferred to the dihydroxyacetone phosphate. That is DHAP. In short, dihydroxyacetone phosphate, which is reduced to glycerol 3 phosphate glycerol 3 phosphate it is reduced to glycerol 3 phosphate okay so here this is the thing first uh, this dhap that is transferred to the glycerol dehydroxyacetone 3 phosphate gap yeah by the cytosolic glycerol dehyde glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase this is the enzyme that is working here to transfer these dihydroxyacetone phosphate to glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate again uh, in mitochondrial uh, glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase that is the cytosolic one cytosolic and this is the mitochondrial this is also same enzyme glycerol dehydrogenase 3 phosphate dehydrogenase that is uh, actually doing what this type of conversion uh, conversion actually influenced by the efad fad and that will convert it to fadh2 fadh2 that is the conversion okay and for these 
this uh, mitochondrial conversion mitochondrial enzyme glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase is helping this glyceraldehyde 3 uh, glycerol glycerol 3 phosphate to convert into the dihydroxyacetone phosphate okay so this is the shuttle that is we call as glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle so in this lecture we have learned about how the energetics are using in this metabolic reaction and the two types of shuttle that first one is the malate aspartate shuttle and second one is the glycerol 3 phosphate shuttle so thank you for watching this video